Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I have just a real quick uh, show and tell to share with you today. If you like fabric and you like quilting, I'm going to guess you might like seeing this video and hearing what I'm going to tell you if you don't already know about it. Okay, my husband knows this about me, but probably nobody else does. I love crazy quilts. There is something about them that just speaks to my heart. I have always wanted to make a crazy quilt, but I have not had the patience to be a quilter. And what I thought I needed was a lot of patience and a lot of precision. Both of those I don't have in a very large supply. Okay, teeny tiny supply of patience and precision. So I just sort of figured that quilting was not something that was ever going to happen for me. And the closest I got to my crazy quilts were my little patchwork pockets that I make with both fabric and paper. And I was okay with that until the day I saw that Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls was putting together a series on making crazy quilts. Have you ever wondered where Crazy Rebecca got her name? I did. I don't know about the Pitbulls part. I don't know about the dancing part, but I know that she got the crazy part from making crazy quilts for like years and years and years. Not that she's old, just that she's been doing it for a really long time. And for the first time ever, I feel really motivated to try to do a crazy quilt as soon as I finish some of these other projects that I have on my desk. Okay, a lot of projects on my desk, but I'm gonna do it. I promise you, Rebecca, I am going to do it. So she has been showing people step-by-step step in this series, and I, I will link to the series down in the comment section, or if I figure out how to do info cards, I might even put it in the actual video. But she's doing simple series of how to make a crazy quilt where you do not have to have precision. You do not have to have a fancy, expensive rotary cu cutter. You don't have to even have a sewing machine. You can do the whole thing by hand. And she makes it all seem very doable. And I am so grateful to her. And I am so excited to think that I'm going to be able to play around with making crazy quilts. So that was enough excitement for me. And then come to find out, okay, I shouldn't be too surprised about this, but she is also a fabric-aholic, just like me. I was not a fabric-aholic a year ago. I only got my sewing machine a few months ago, and that is what has turned me into a fabric-aholic, going to the thrift stores and finding all these really great fabrics that are parts of clothing and cutting them apart, and that's what she does. She does buy fabric fabric, but a lot of times she just goes to the thrift store, buys clothes, tears them apart. Well, she was looking at her shelf and decided she had way too many pieces of material to make quilts, which I suppose is something pretty, pretty common amongst anybody that's making anything with fabric. And she decided to make these bundles, which I think is an awesome idea of the way she stores things for making the quilts. And she decided to put some of these bundles up for sale. So I have a hard time finding certain colors and I wanted to support Rebecca and thank her for all the teaching she's doing. So I bought a few bundles and I took them out of the envelope, but that's it. I have not opened them to see what they are. But let me tell you, her prices are really reasonable. And she was doing free shipping in the US. And it's just, it's awesome. I'm very excited. So I thought I would share what I got. And some of this I had in mind for a journal because I am going to be working on a couple of uh, beach theme journals. And so the blues called to me and then the greens for my forest journals. But I am gonna make my own bundles to go with crazy quilts. Oh, look at this texture. Texture, this is awesome. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. And see, these could go, besides doing a quilt, these could make some great mini journals. And we've got great blues. This actually looks like some underwater stuff. Oh, and some satiny kind of feel, some great textures. Oh, oh some green velvet. Oh, this is absolutely going in my pile of things for a forest journal. Great textures, great colors. Oh, nothing like this in my fabric stash. So that's what is really exciting is to get a little bits of pieces from somebody else's stash. Oh, this has got a great texture. It's one of those um, feels almost like a, a suede feel. Yep, beach, but oh, velvet, velvet. I cannot find anything velvet in my thrift stores. Beachy, boho, forest. Oh, look at that. Perfect for my forest journal, isn't it? Uh, oh, this is exciting. I cannot wait to make my own little bundles for quilts. This was a really, really great deal for all this 
fabric. Oh, look at the, look at the color on this. Oh, that's beautiful. It just shimmers and more velvet and this texture. Oh, green. Awesome. That's just one pack. That is beautiful. Okay, this one looks like it's probably going to be similar colors, which is great because I can put some aside for different journals. This looks a lot the same. That's wonderful. Oh, I can already see this in so many uses, although I'm tempted to pull the greens aside and save them for the crazy quilt that I want to make first. Oh, the roses. Look at that. It's kind of a satiny feel. Beautiful. And you know, crazy quilts, the thing that's really attracted me to them has been all the embellishments they do on them at the seam line. And Rebecca's got a great video that talks about how she does exactly that. So there's no need to feel intimidated, except for the lack of time when it comes to wanting to make a crazy quilt. All right, let's see. This one is smaller scraps in greens because I just, I really have a hard time finding greens in my thrift shop and I have no idea why. Oh, this is a great, 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 great stuff. Look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my own sorting and bundles, but these oh, will be great for the wall hanging. Too many ideas. Uh, is that your problem too? I have so many ideas of things I want to make. Love this. This is almost the color of the walls in my art studio and actually throughout the whole house. This is definitely going in the beachy Santa Cruz journal for sure. Great textures. What fun stuff. And then I asked for one bundle of neutrals because it's just always fun and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Arnie and Carlos, but they had a video that they showed one of their crazy quilts that had done, uh, they'd done with nothing but neutrals, and it was exquisite, absolutely exquisite. Look at that. Beautiful embellishments that can go just right on as they are. Oh, Rebecca, thank you so much. This is just a lot of beautiful white satin generous scraps you know and things like this that look like small sizes Rebecca shows you how to use all of these you can if you're making big quilts how you can make small things to go onto the big things and I, I can't explain it because you know I've never done this before but go check out her series that shares all her great tips and she's got good tips in in every video that I've seen she's got a few tips where I'm like oh yeah, that makes a good idea. That that makes sense. I should do that. It's got some of that raised texture, so that could be really nice in a quilt. And then make sure you go back and see the video where she shows all the quilts that she's made, many of which have won prizes for her. And then, of course, this one she had listed as green, so, you know, that green just calls my name. Let's see what's in here. Greens and blues, just exactly. My heart is beating fast. Just excited to think about working with these. Oh, oh, love this. Love this so much. I would pay money for this if I could find this in the store. Love it. And this one too. Look at this. Four leaf clovers, but it's got like a sparkle to it. This is fabulous. All right, my mind now is going 900 miles an hour with all these ideas, and I want to go cut up my fabric and play around with it, but I can't. I have to go finish a couple more projects and get some videos uploaded. Lots of little pieces of velvet. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for making these scrap bundles available at such a reasonable price so I could get some to play with. I hope that some of you will go check out her wonderful series, and she's, she's posting at least one a week, maybe even more often, maybe it's a couple times a week, but you might get motivated even if you've never made a quilt before and she makes you believe you can do it. That's all for now. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day to spend some time for me with me. I will see you next time. Bye for now.